everybody. So this is just showing off the work in progress of the um, Python script for copying and copying and pasting in between applications. In this case, we're looking at the work in progress of the Max version. So uh, the currently working part of it we've got is we can copy to Max. You can't copy from Max yet. The copy from Max is being worked on as we speak. Um, so this is copy to Max. So we need to copy from an application of sorts. So we've got Blender as our way of doing it. Um, so we need to go and add in. We've got this set to metric and it's meters and all that, whatever. So it comes in the right size. So Shift A, he says here, Shift A, and we'll add a monkey. There we go. And we'll just sort of go, yeah, he's cool there. So what we need to do now is we need to go to object and we need to go do copy to external so this is the Python script that's inside Blender um, we can show you how to install that later we're just showing the max bit at the moment so we've copied it we need to go to max we need to go and run a max script and the max script we're going to run is this so all this is saying is it's a this is how to execute a Python file and all we need to know is where is the Python file uh, and then go and rec then go and run it basically. So Python execute file. Where is it? It's in the J drive. It's in the root of the J drive. It's called 3ds max. Paste from external dot py, and we'll find it here. So this is my J drive, which is my USB drive, and we'll find this file just here. Okay, and uh, that's what you need to write in exactly that. Okay, so that's all cool. Don't need to use that. That's just the script. Then we go file. Uh, save as save it somewhere useful. Okay, so that's cool. And then in Max script, we're going to go and run that script now. So I've called it paste two, paste one, made an error, paste two, it works. Uh, open, and there we have. How cool is that? You know, not seven hundred pounds a year subscription to get a Blender monkey head in. Yeah, and to show its true worth, because you're thinking, well, okay, yeah. You can do a monkey head, but well, what, what can it really do? So um, we'll just go into Blender, delete this. We we'll go Shift A, we go Mesh. We're going to go to what we're we going to go to, Stephen. Uh, extras. We're going to add a teapot because that's one thing that's desperately missing from most Max tutorials is a teapot. So we're using a Blender teapot now. So I've got the Blender teapot here. Object. Uh, copy to external, boom, 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 go to max, and we're going to go to max script, run the script, paste to, bada bing, bada boom, we have a fantastic plastic blender teapot that's now in max. This probably was a max teapot by the looks of it that someone's like done a preset of. It's the Utah teapot anyway, so it's not unique to max at all. And there, that's it. It works. Woo hoo. Right. Um, like I say, the export from Max or the copy from Max to an, an external application is being worked on. And then at some point, we'll have proper buttons run in and other things. Um, yeah. If someone wants to jump in uh, who is a current Max scripter to uh, get this, um, what do you call it? Tweak it so it's perfect. That would be great. Um, it's open source, so why don't you? And that is it. I'm going to sleep because it's like 5:35 in the morning, which is ridiculous. Right. See you later. Bye.